Okay, in this brief training video, we're going to look at the differences between folders in Outlook and labels in Gmail. So as you may recall, in Outlook, you have a cabinet, and many of you have created folders inside that cabinet. I can then take items that, that flow into my inbox, and I can drag and drop them into a specific folder. Now, think of that as a filing cabinet. An email can only exist in one folder at a time. So therefore, if I come back to my inbox, now that email will no longer be visible, and there I have to find the folder that I... Um, put that particular email or drag that email into or I have to change my search criteria so that it looks in um, all Outlook items or in the entire mailbox versus a specific folder. So when we move and when we do the migration and move those three months of mail across what will happen is your cabinet will come across as well as any folders. Now once they come across into Gmail they're no longer folders they're called labels. So again just a difference in terminology. Think of a label as a post-it note. So you can have multiple post-it notes attached to any specific email. Um, and, and if you have multiple post-it notes when you click on any of those post-it notes or labels um, that email will show up and can show up in multiple labels or can show up under multiple labels. So let's take something from my inbox and open this email from Jason. And I'm going to add the label um, Autodesk to it, Cabinet Autodesk, and Cabinet BPA, and apply. So now when I come back to my inbox, um, notice that not only is it in my inbox, but it has these other labels attached to it. It is also now in Cabinet Autodesk and Cabinet BPA. So if I come down here to Autodesk, sure enough it shows up there. If I come down here to BPA, sure enough, it can also show up in there. Um, I can choose to remove it from specific labels. So I can click on the email again, and up here are the labels. I can get rid of it from the inbox. I can get rid of it from you know various locations. I can say, okay, no longer want it in BPA. Um, so you can choose to kind of hide that particular email or get rid of it from specific labels. Um, that just allows you to get a little more granular um, in how you store your specific emails when you want to keep them from a little bit longer, get rid of them, say, out of your inbox. So where do I create a new label if I need new labels? Again, the cabinet will come across and those folders will be converted to labels. Um, but where do I create a new label? Well, if you scroll all the way down on this left-hand navigation side, there may be a more with a down arrow. Click on that and you keep scrolling down. And this is where you can manage labels or create new labels. So if I click on manage labels, here are all the different labels. Um, you can choose to show or hide different labels. Um, like here's the BPA and BPA online test. Um, BPA, I can choose to remove that particular label if I want to. Um, so you can get rid of labels um, as well as add additional labels. So if I want to come over here and create a new label. So I can create a new label and I can call this uh, my test label. And then I could tell it where I want it nested. So for example, do I want it under the cabinet and that structure that came across from Outlook? Or do I not want to nest it at all, in which case I'll just leave it up here um, unnested. So in other words, it's not going to be underneath a specific, it's not going to be underneath my cabinet anymore. So again, now if I go up here towards the top, I will see, if I can scroll up here, come on. So there's my cabinets and there's my test label. So again, it did not get nested under cabinet because I chose not to. But again, if I click on my test label, there's nothing in there. Um, I would probably recommend that you put your labels under your cabinet. If you had a cabinet come across in the migration where you already had folders, it's just going to keep the structure a little bit neater. Um, but again, the main difference between folders and cabinets, folders um, in Outlook, you could have an email exist basically or live in any one folder at a particular time. Labels are kind of like post-it notes attached to the email, so it can have more than one label. They are both ways of managing um, emails and putting them in locations where they need to be. Um, they just treat them a little different, and again, they're called labels in Gmail versus folders in Outlook. Again, thank you for your time.